Hello, it's YouTube, it's Delta0125 here again. Um, I don't know if you saw that last video or not, but uh, basically, fired off full box of the Federal 45 uh, Auto Full Metal Jacket, round nose. <clears throat> and uh, it actually gave off a pretty good fireball from the H&K uh, USP, or what's known as a muzzle flash. Anyways, uh, shot about 18 rounds here of this uh, 32 Smith & Wesson Long. This stuff also gave us a little bit of a flash out of it, but not much. So, uh, yeah, we got 18 rounds off. I still got two in here, and I got the three for NR Youth Day. I've got three boxes of 45 auto that are full here for NR Youth Day. Two PMC and one Federal, but I'm going to possibly pick up more before uh, NR Youth Day. So, uh, yeah, and then um, we fired off five of my uh, hollow point. 22 magnum rounds because that's what I had in there and I wanted to see how well they do in the wind but uh yeah oh and uh in that video if you see us you know like when we're shooting we're hitting the dirt that's because of all the wind that was there we're actually aiming downrange at the can except for the uh, rapid fire we're just firing for fun at that point because I mean it got kind of pointless towards the end there where uh we were trying to you know hit the can and everything which I was the only one that hit both cans but uh every time we'd fire the uh, wind would be, you know, blowing back and forth and blow arounds one way or the other, which is also why you heard some ricocheting. But uh, apparently, out there, friend Bryson, you know, used up about that much of a 50 round box. So, had a little bit of fun out there, but uh, it got kind of cold and also it was getting too dark to shoot. I mean, towards the end there, it did warm up, but as I said, it was getting too dark to shoot, so yeah. That I'm also buying in our youth day as well as oh well wow. apparently left my uh, unzipped Oops. but uh yeah I plan on picking up another box of these I'm thinking there might be another one outside in our vehicle somewhere because uh, they left my range bag unzipped on the side so it's probably in the van probably just laying somewhere um. Anyways, uh, yeah, I got a full box of hollow points here. Might as well take those with me to youth day. Yeah, youth day. So these, and whatever I got here, all going with me to, whoops, all going with me to, uh, in our youth day. And by the way, that was my fault. I kind of bumped the camera when I tried to turn it. Anyways, all that's going with me to in our youth day. Um, try and pick up some more ammo. Because, uh, I don't know how much we're going to be shooting. There. We're going to be mainly loading magazines for the machine gun range again, most likely. Oh, uh, fun fact. I turned 21 on the uh, day for the NRA Youth Day event. So, uh, instead of going out and buying, you know, a couple of handguns or something, or a handgun, you know, uh, I'll instead be at the machine gun range reloading mags. But that's fine with me. I get to hang out with a Smart Gunner 45, and I believe his YouTube name is Valiant Armory. But, uh, anyways, our friend Kenny, which is, yeah, apparently, uh, him and his mom and them all run the NR Youth Day thing, so, anyways, I'm just gonna show up there and help out, and, uh, maybe afterwards go to a gun shop or something if they're not all closed. If not, I'll just go on June 3rd. And, uh, June 6th, I have a road skills appointment, which is basically, you know, not a... It's not driver's ed, it's actually a road test and not a road skills appointment. It's uh, for my license, so I'll be doing that on the 6th. Um, so, yeah, just throw out, a, throw out a quick little update on the ammo and everything. Which, by the way, these hollow points are actually pretty good in the accuracy department. Not sure how many of you care about that, but, uh, yeah. Federal champion stuff, I was getting some good groupings out there, but like I said, the wind was throwing everything off, so I gotta find somewhere that's not as windy as Jim's Creek. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go and do the disassembly and reassembly field stripping video of the HK USP right after I clean it. So, uh, I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Delta0125, signing out.